Well, there's always been a connection within uh, my photography work. I think I could probably go back to photography being the, the basis uh, to establish um, each piece that I work on. Mm -hmm. uh, because the, the photograph actually was, was, was interesting. The photograph winds up being the beginning and the ending process of the actual piece. Mm -hmm. um, because I do a lot of urban photography, um, I do go out and make connections with society. And um, I bring that into the actual art piece and uh, make a, a further extension of that actual just, uh, you know, standard uh, photo shot. And then I start to abstract the actual image. And once that image is abstracted, uh, we start to take that uh, same uh, photographic element and extend it into uh, something else. Uh, whereas that, you know, the back to the con connection with the music uh, mm -hmm. within my work. Um, a lot of uh, work that I ha had worked on before uh, doing a, a solo show in, in 2006 was Jazz on Canvas. Mm -hmm. So a lot of my connection with, um, you know, the urban environment, uh, jazz music, uh, the photos wound up being a connection with the urban environment, um, you know, socialistic um, um, uh, connections uh, within people um, in society, mm -hmm. and then bringing that into um, the jazz element. Uh, winds up making an interesting connection uh, within the, bo the body of work. Yeah. Um, you know, once those uh, photos that I do capture um, uh, in the you know, urban surrounding, those pieces um, wind up, you know, taking on a, no a new life within themselves. Mm -hmm. um, and that uh, winds up being um, just a further e extension w within the body. Well, you know, um, this, the subject, the art piece that I had titled Neil, um, I saw Neil on the street and um, I said, you know, this will be an interesting subject matter to interact with, um, to actual uh, take a picture of. Because his, his face has a story. I mean, the, the lines within his face, I mean, you could tell he's actually struggling um, to, you know, panhandle for money, but there's something else deeper within this individual that I just had to capture and find out about. Mm -hmm. um, Neil was an individual who was um, in his uh, early 50s, but he looked like he was 70 mm -hmm. because of his, uh, his surroundings and because he did live on the street. Um, I do sometimes go back to those certain areas where I did find those people. Uh, and unfortunately, I have not seen Neil uh, since that, uh, since a year ago when I uh, created that particular piece mm -hmm. uh, with him. Uh, I do have another uh, piece that I did uh, two, well, three years ago, uh, and that was the Brew, the Brew Alexander mm -hmm. piece. Uh, and Brew actually is a, uh, a figure within uh, the Evanston area. He was a political um, figure. Mm -hmm. And uh, unfortunately right now he's homeless, but that particular piece title Brew um, is a favorite amongst a lot of people and some people do actually know him. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, you know, Brew, when we, him and I talked on, um, within two years I kept in contact with him and he has a, um, a he had a strong political presence mm -hmm. uh, within the Chicago area. Um, and then Neil, uh, going back to him, he um, was a, a, a carpenter, construction worker, you know, by trade. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, they had stories, struggles, and making those connections within uh, individuals in society. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's a very, a very big impact. Uh, mm -hmm. A lot of times we may pass these individuals every day, uh, but not really know much about them, but we may have only stereotypes about them. But a lot of times they're just like us. They're mm -hmm. just trying to um, make a living, and then their situation right now is just an unfortunate situation. Mm -hmm. You know, so... A lot of my um, my own uh, energy is to go out and, and make those connections within society. And um, I, I found it a, a very big impact within my work. Well, one of my favorites, um, as, I, as we talked before in the past, um, my favorite is always still going to be Miles Davis, uh, just because of his connection with traditional jazz music um, and my connection with uh, a tradi traditional art approach. Miles Davis has a traditional jazz upbringing, whereas I have a traditional art upbringing, but now I'm merging in um, the uh, digital photography and the computer art. 
So as Miles merged his uh, traditional, um, you know, jazz upbringing, now he's working with, he has worked with in the past, the digital um, music aspect, and he's merged in um, the electronics of the keyboard. Um, he even had an electronic, an electric trumpet. Mm -hmm. um, so now he's working with technology, and he's merging this technology with his, his music uh, in the past. And now I'm currently working with a traditional um, artistic upbringing, but now I'm, I'm, I've been working over the years with um, an elect electronic element and bringing that electronic element within you know, my, my work. Um, uh, merging uh, digital photography and computer art and bringing it onto the canvas um, and then working with traditional art elements, um, you know, traditional um, studio elements and you know, juxtaposing that with the you know, electronic imagery, the uh, digital photography and computer art. Um, uh, that uh, listening to you know music by Miles Davis, uh, uh, he had um, uh, uh, element of, of a period in uh, jazz music called free jazz, uh, and that free jazz uh, style, which is prevalent, uh, really prevalent, prevalent in the sixties and seventies, uh, has that rough, edgy um, background and uh, and style within the work. And I, f I find that style of music to be uh, very inspirational when I start to create my work. And then, you know, um, just listening to different things that he's done um, before even the, f the free jazz style um, has a, a, um, a major impact within um, my body of work. But, you know, I mean, Miles Davis, I mean, you can go Coltrane, you can go Max Roach, you can go on and on and on. But I think a lot of the jazz music that I tend to um, grasp onto and and um, and find most impacting with my work is the, the rhythm within the music mm -hmm. uh, that has a strong impact within you know what I actually create. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I find that that rhythm to very much be a concrete uh, foothold um, within the energy within my work. Um, so. Not disregarding words, but um, rhythm has a, a sense of, uh, of strength as I start to create. And then a, a lot of people have looked at my work and they said there's a lot of rhythm within the actual work, uh, as they see uh, within the each. each. Um, right now, uh, I think within the Chicago Chicago Artists Coalition, you know, I'm working with you guys, and uh, we have the. Uh, the art uh, paintathon coming up in June 1st, and I'll be um, doing a piece there live. Mm -hmm. um, I have a lot of experience doing live um, pieces uh, through bare walls mm -hmm. um, with us with the School of Art Institute um, and alumni from there. So uh, we do, you know, live art pieces, and it's auctioned off. You know, um, and the people get to meet you and talk to you, and things like that. Um, still working on in a current body of work, uh, and that body of work. Uh, I think we, we talked last time, it's going to be probably titled Urban mm -hmm. uh, because I'm doing a lot of urban photography um, work and uh, making pieces from that work and that body of work actually, you know, is the urban um, portraits of individuals that I, I meet when I go out and do my photography work um, and just trying to actually establish another solo show um, or get involved with some more group shows, uh, whether they're in Chicago or outside the Chicago area. So those are some things that I'm actually doing now.